Hey. Thanks for tuning in to Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. In honor of Valentine's Day, I wanted to celebrate by making a strawberry oatmeal bar, but heart shaped. Cel celebrate me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, honey. yes, yeah. What was that yeah. invitation there, you guys? <laughs> Anyhow, stay tuned, you guys. All right, you guys, let's get started with the ingredients you'll need for these delicious strawberry oatmeal bars. So, you will need salt, sliced up strawberries, you'll also need baking powder butter and I put the butter in the microwave for about 10 seconds to soften it up a little bit because if you don't soften it up a little bit it's going to be hard to mix all the ingredients together and then you'll also need oatmeal and all-purpose white flour strawberry jam any kind that you like packed brown sugar and then for the butter it's melted and you don't need any precise measurements because you're just going to use it to grease up a 9 by 13 inch pan and then I also got these cute little heart-shaped um, cutters because I want this to be like heart-shaped for Valentine's Day. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started on anything, let's preheat our oven at 350 degrees so that it'll be ready when we need it to be nice and hot. And then we're going to grease up our pan. I'm using melted butter and I'm also using this really cute Daiso silicone brush. Just got to make sure that, you know, the oatmeal bars will be able to pop out. So. I'm really greasing this up. So we're gonna go ahead and put this aside. All right, you guys, let's get started. We're gonna place flour into a large bowl. And then you're gonna add the baking powder as well as the salt. I don't like turning it on, so I'm gonna just mix it like this with my hand mixer. Because when you turn on flour dry, it it goes everywhere, you guys. And then you're ready to add the brown sugar, the packed brown sugar. Again, I'm just mixing without the mixer on, but then I'm gonna turn on the mixer soon. And then you're ready to add that delicious oatmeal. I love oatmeal bars. And lastly, the butter. If I could get you out, butter, all right, get it out. There you go the butter and now we're ready to mix you guys all right you guys when it's a nice crumbly consistency and you can tell that it can be packed together that's when you know you are good to go. Go ahead and grab half of the mixture and place it onto the greased pan. I like using my hands. And I have my rings off so that it doesn't get all messed up. And honestly, it's because I'm pregnant and my fingers are swollen. <laughs> I come up with excuses. All right, so we're gonna just keep packing that on. Just half. This might, you know, this one looks like it might be a little more than half, so I'm gonna take a little bit out. And really pack it in. You want it to be like, kind of like the same level, if possible. You guys, it smells amazing. Butter makes everything smell so insanely delicious. So I'm just packing it as much as possible. I feel like this little spot is missing some, so I'm gonna add more here. Beautiful. And now you are ready to spread the entire amount of jam that you have right on top. This is like a jam that's kind of like chunky. So I have to really spread that out. This may look like it's not enough jam, but trust me it is because you know, when you bake things, it spreads. The jam will be able to spread entirely over the cookie bars or the oatmeal bars. I like that. And 
And then you're ready to add the strawberries right on top. After adding the strawberries, you are ready to add the rest of the oatmeal mixture. Just place it right on top of those strawberries. And then you're gonna like really pack it in after. And then you are ready to pack it in. Not so hard that the jam like comes out, you know, but really cover it. So once you have packed the oatmeal mixture right on top, you're ready to bake at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, you guys, the strawberry oatmeal bars are ready. I let it cool down for about an hour simply because I wanna cut it up into little heart shapes, but you can have it like this, like a cobbler, and eat it with ice cream. It's kind of like a strawberry jam cobbler. I think that's delicious, but I wanna just do it in cute little heart shapes. So that's why I let it cool down for a long time because you know, if you want to have it form into a shape, it can't be like, mushy cobbler consistency so I have my knife and I have a spatula and I'm ready to try to make these into cute shapes all right you guys I am ready to get it into a heart shape here's the thing I know that when you shape things you kind of waste food, right? Because you're just trying to get the good shape. But don't waste it. Crumble it up and put it in a bowl and then add ice cream and make it your cobbler. Because we don't want to waste any of this delicious goodness. This is really thick, so I'm just working around it. Like that. Perfect. Even the bottom turned out great. So I'm just going to pop this baby out of there like that. And look at, you can still see the jelly and a little bit of the strawberry and I think that's super cute. Alright, we have our taste our tester, balance. my Valentine. Yes. He had to exaggerate that, let you guys know. Come on, we're married. I Ooh, know, this looks so I good. know right? It's, it looks, I already ate it already, mm. it was good. I love it, it's so buttery. Oh my God. And oatmeal -y, and then the. Sh Why am I being the taste this, tester? It's so buttery and oatmeal -y. <laughs> No, you this is like. your own opinion. This is unbelievable. It, it is, is so delightful. delicious. It's a little crunchy, a little chewy. That strawberry with the fresh strawberries yes. inside, I feel like makes a big difference. Oh my gosh. It yes. doesn't just taste like jam, it also tastes like fresh strawberries. Yes. You know, and it looks like a. It's funny, it looks like a PBJ sandwich, but it's obviously much better than that. This is delicious. I feel like I need a cup of coffee with this. Yes! Oh my goodness. Mm. I even made a tiny little heart oh for my little Liam. You guys. Oh, he should be my two sister too. You guys have to try this. It is. So if you want someone to go out with you on Valentine's Day. Let them know. You just, want some? Just, <laughs> just kidding. I didn't say some what. You want some kisses, some hugs. Mm -hmm. Would mm -hmm. I win some something? You win with everything, honey. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Give this a try. And if you do, please take a picture and tag me, AprilThena7, or email me, AprilThena7 at gmail.com, because then I write back and I get so excited and happy when I see some of the stuff yeah. that you create. Anyhow, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. We also have a vlog channel, April Justin TV. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Yummy!